public hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 as a popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. Cause God loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug and I love movies. Coming to you once again from the comedy cellar on the first floor of the Rio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada! <laughs> Yippee! Here we go. It's Saturday, October 19th, 2019, and I bet we got some good name tags here. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, we got Stand By Me with uh, Carrot Top is on there. Do is, is, you think there's a chance Carrot Top would come by? I've met him once or twice. He's a nice fellow, that uh, Scott Thompson. But uh, I, don't, I never had the chance to ask him to do this. And then I can't see yours because of the chair, but it looks like Iron Man. Holy shit. Let me see that. I <laughs> Ron Man 3. Let me see that, though, because you put me in the thanks. He, uh, you... Uh, Got that picture of me wearing my Tony Stark glasses and, uh, <laughs> and, and put that on there. <laughs> That's the best name tag I've ever seen. Who are these, uh, who are these other people on here? Uh, you've got Who's the girl? the girl? That's Amy Miller? Miller yeah. Holy shit. Amy Miller, Mark Cohen, Will. That's Mark Cohen over there? That's a good, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good face he's making. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And who's the other guy? Uh, Will, Will. Oh, Will Sylvans? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, he's playing the club this week. Well, you're good at uh, uh, guessing who's going to be here. 100% uh, wrong, but... Uh, <laughs> no, not 100%. You're close. But anyway, thank you to everybody for bringing... Uh, oh, I like that. Patriot James instead of Patriot Games. And then my big face. <laughs> That's too big. My face is too big on that one. But thank you to all of you for bringing uh, your name tags, and uh, good luck. Doug Plugs, Doug Loves Movies is back. It used to be Franklin in Los Angeles on Tuesday, October 22nd. Yeah, I know who will be, who'll be there. And then Doug Loves Scary Movies starts Saturday, October 26th at Comedy Works in Denver at 420. Yeah, Halloween night, October 31st at the Punchline in Sacramento, and Saturday, November 2nd at Cobbs in San Francisco. Also at 420, wear movie-themed costumes. Be a walking name tag. That's what it says here, so that's why I said it. <laughs> uh, the prize bag includes a Doug Benson pin from Rockin' Pins, and a Doug Loves Movies t-shirt, and I got this at the uh, 10,000 Laughs Festival. It's a little notepad with a little pen. You can write 10,000 jokes in there if you want. And, oh. <laughs> That festival took place in uh, Minneapolis, so I brought a copy of Minneapolis yeah. Magazine. St. <laughs> Paul Magazine can suck it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, because the airport is Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport, MSP. Yeah, you know me. And then, <laughs> oh, I also, from that festival, I got a koozie that says, our winnings are nice. Oh, because it's from the Crystal Lake, Crystal Lake? Mystic Lake. <laughs> the Crystal Lake Casino, Freddy's there, and you just get hacked to death if you try to go into it. And then um, here's a fun thing that I purchased, impulse purchase, and then didn't want. It's a wearable sports fan. <laughs> yeah, it's not, for the listeners, it's not a, a person who enjoys sports that you wear. <laughs> it's... Um, it's just this thing you wrap around your neck and it's got two little fans on it and they blow in your face and you can just walk around having your face blown uh, all day. It's got, it's got three wind speeds and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, it turns out, turns out I didn't really want to do that. So I'm uh, passing it along to someone here. All of that is in the prize bag plus stuff brought by my guests. Let's get them out here, shall we? 
all very funny comedians that are in uh, Las Vegas for various reasons we'll get into. Please give it up for Mark Cohen, Vanessa Johnson, and Carlos Rodriguez. <laughs> Don't hey. sit next to me. <laughs> I, to, I tried not to. You want me to move? No, that's cool. Right. Nobody will know that I'm yeah, next just, to you. Yeah, just make sure you use your microphone voice. Nobody will know. <laughs> Let's meet them individually, shall we? Starting with the lady in the middle. It's Vanessa Johnson, oh, everybody. Hello. Hello. Let's see what it says here. Second time on Douglas Movies? It is my second time. The first time, I, I'm not good at this game. I'd like to preface that that I don't remember any movies, but I'm happy to be here. Thank you for yeah, having me. Yeah, just as long as you're a happy participant, that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't know. They wouldn't know the answers, right? These guys have movie signs. Yeah, that's, that's what they do at the show. You're going to have to pick one later. The second time you've been on. Remember? <laughs> remember that part? <laughs> this isn't the show where we get high with you? <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, Dude. any show I do is a show where you get high with me. <laughs> but... Uh, this one's more about movies. This one's for squares as well as stoners. And Vanessa, where are you at? You're performing in Vegas this weekend? Uh, no, I'm just hanging out. I think uh, I bumbled, I booty called this guy like a couple weeks ago in Vegas. I was on vacation and then I liked him so I came back for round two. Yeah. That's what that guy is? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I say good for both of you. Well done. Also joining us today, <laughs> That was enough one-on-one -on -one interview with Vanessa. Also <laughs> joining us is Carlos Rodriguez. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> and uh, that's his version of my wife. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does that all the time, and uh, it's been a staple here on the show. How many times do you think you've been on, Carlos? I think I, I think this is a sixth or seventh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to be back soon. I won't say on which show, but he's, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the listeners have something to look forward to. In the industry, we call that a teaser. <laughs> yeah, the weird part is that I don't know what industry you're talking about. <laughs> 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 In the construction industry. <laughs> mm. I mean, no matter what industry you're in, I think that in the was, porno that was a industry. teaser. It was a <laughs> teaser no matter how you look at it. And uh, you are performing in town, though. You're not just here fucking somebody. <laughs> 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 well, I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not great at comedy, but you're, uh, uh, yeah. but you're getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking owners over here. Uh, <laughs> I'm at the uh, this week. I'm at the L.A. Comedy Club in the in the Oh, we can't. What happened? Oh. What you, use your microphone if you're gonna interrupt. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> they heard it, but there's listeners. It's a podcast. <laughs> it's still a podcast. And, uh, it's not. It's not just a live show. But I can see that someday. Just me, just being in some lounge in Vegas. Uh, and it's no longer a podcast. It's just a live show or. Three people stagger in with name tags, and then we, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then my guests go, "Why do people have name tags?" <laughs> and uh, where are you performing? Uh, I'm performing this week. I'm at the L.A. Uh, Comedy Club in the Strat, and then next week I'm at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. So do people? So everyone, go see him twice. Yeah, if you're, if you're go sticking check around. out both of those venues and see how they compare. Have you been to Jimmy Kimmel's yet? No, no, this is the first time. Did okay. you fuck Jimmy Kimmel? I was trying to. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Just kidding, babe. Wait, wait. And we've already heard from him on and off mic. Sorry. It's Mark Cohen! Hey, see? <laughs> you see? The mattress king himself. <laughs> Where'd you find that picture? Uh, you know, there's the internet. Oh, you just go on oh you just, is that you, bro? You just just I knew it. I knew you from something. I thought it was like a De Niro <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the mattress king on That's Friends. Right. Do you still have to pay alimony to Janice? Uh, no, but I was just in that picture with the... Uh, did you see all the Friends people getting together last week? You were in that picture with them? I took it. <laughs> <How about> it? <laughs> I was there, yep. Well, maybe you could settle this, uh, this minor controversy. It was, uh, it was Jennifer Aniston made her spl splunge. Her splunge. She splunged onto uh, Instagram right. by showing a picture of all the six friends together uh -huh. hanging out. Mm -hmm. But there's a phone next to her on a table uh, and a counter or whatever, and it's got, it looks like it has cocaine on it. <gasps> 
<laughs> hey, hey, your date. That's, that's Chelsea, in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> And uh, really, yeah. Uh, that people are talking about it on the internet. I, I guess so, but it's not. It's not that big. A, the thing they're talking about is how many hits she's already gotten. Like she's already gotten. <laughs> she's already gotten more hits in her first day on Instagram than. than oh, any, I thought you meant. Oh, I thought you meant yeah. hits. I thought you meant cocaine hits. Wow. Did people, she do? I thought you meant bumps too. I was like, hey, bumps. <laughs> you guys want to take some cocaine no. hits? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I was backstage snorting some weed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done cocaine since my 20s. 420? 620? <laughs> Sorry. I like it. The joke doesn't make sense <laughs> yes, anymore. Like... You, you ruined it with the cocaine. No, I shouldn't have said 420. That's no. true of most things. They get ruined by cocaine. Aww. You know, it has its moments. So says, that was a Jeffrey Epstein quote, wasn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> things get ruined by cocaine. <laughs> oh, he's blaming cocaine on what he did? Yeah. Wrecks your brain. Oh, my God. You get a little cocaine in you and look out, kids. <laughs> um, let's talk prize bag, you guys. Let's start oh. with Carlos. What oh. looks like you got something cool over there. Uh, okay, I got, I got, I started off with a little thing of Jack Daniels. Oh. Just a little thing, just Woo! a little shot. You, of course, are sober. I'm sober, so I had to give it away. Uh, and then, um, what, do they force you to take them on airplanes now? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like a drink? I'm sober. Take it. Yeah, they like, you look like you need it. <laughs> like, so I have that. And then um, I, I, I was trying to find shit. So I have, then I got this uh, Funko Pop. Uh, and it's Happy Hogan from uh, from Spider Man. Uh, the you know. Oh, John Favreau. It's John Favreau. The security guard guy. Yeah, the, uh, uh, what you call it's best friend. Uh, so that's that. That's I got that that little thing. And then um, <laughs> I just threw in a shirt that I sell at at shows, and it says uh, it says oh shit. Is this your merch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I, I had to do something Bruh. in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had I went and bought that. I was like fuck, I couldn't remember. I woke up. Okay, so it says relax. You can't die from being offended. Unfortunately. Oh. Yeah. oh. And Topical. then at the bottom it says Police. unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. All right. And scene. <laughs> Now, um, you could either throw everything down on the ground or <laughs> gather it up and pass it to me. <laughs> okay. You're demanding today. I really am. Vanessa, what do you got? I got to follow that? Yeah. I just brought one gift. I feel like the poor parent. Okay. <laughs> no, this one thing is perfect. I tell people to bring one thing, and then they go nuts, and they oh, yeah, yeah. go Guys, shopping. If you win. Oh, wait. Is it a winner that gets this? Mm -hmm. All right. If you win, you get hot cheese popcorn by Cardi B. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Kurt. See, oh, that's, all, oh, that's all you had to bring. That is really something. I did get a woo. That's more than you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's good. <laughs> oh, it's a competition? No, okay, it's a competition. Well, then, then I got, I got it's some, a fucking competition, I got some bro. cash. You're trying guys. to fucking... <laughs> I thought you were about to pull your dick out. I was like, it's definitely no, that's not gonna. No, that's not going to prize nobody. <laughs> Cardi B habanero. Yeah, spicy. Hot. Yeah, 150 calories per serving, and there's 13 servings in this bag. No. <laughs> Just, Bro, she's a lot of women. I'm just it? kidding. There's, there's, uh, how many servings is there? Does it say? I gotta put my glasses on. Okay. <laughs> That's my problem too. All right. And uh, what do you got for us, Mark? Uh, we were talking about cocaine. <laughs> we were talking about cocaine. I have a gram of cocaine. <laughs> a gram is that? I, I, we have a kit, a writing kit. Oh, nice. To be at the comedy cellar. So I mean, we have a shirt and pens and paper, so you can be as prolific as I am. Nice. There you go. And uh, how many people have seen uh, Mark? He's the house MC here at the uh -oh. Comedy Cellar. Yeah. And how many, how many of you walked away with a quality mattress? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a beautiful shirt. You were on, the, on Friends as well. I was. We're the uh, people, yeah. guys, who were briefly on Friends Club. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. You played the uh, I like, I don't, delivery I, I guy? I had a name. I was Tom. Oh, shit. I didn't have a name. And, I didn't, and it t as it turns out, I did not deliver. <laughs> um, I play a guy who talks to Jennifer Aniston, and it does not, or, or I should say Rachel Green, and uh, it does not go well. I walk away from her, which made no sense. <laughs> yeah, that's some serious acting right there. <laughs> <laughs> that I would give up on her that quickly. <laughs> Uh, but that's all the stuff that's in the bag, you guys. Woo! Somebody's going home with it. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. We got lots of good name tags for you to choose from, but I got a couple of things I want to do before we get to that. And uh, I'm going to start with the question I ask everybody on, on most of the episodes of this show. 
Starting with Carlos, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, if you die right now, you will go to heaven having seen what movie? Fuck, man. I'm so sad. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, did, I pulled a double feature. I seen uh, Zombieland 2 and Gemini Man. <laughs> I heard Gemini Man was trash. They're all trash. Both of them are trash. They oh, suck. I was that's so, a shame like, to those hear. Those are all like negative Rotten Tomatoes, both of those movies. Yeah, they're not good, man. I was so sad. Man. I wanted to like Zombieland 2 a lot, and it just, just, it just didn't happen for me. It sucked. I'm Did sorry. it seem to be happening for other people in the theater? Like, were you special? Or? No, like the jokes were landing. They were just flat. Like nothing every, was happening. It was like it was like an open mic, like bomb, just bomb. bomb. And do, where do you stand on? Uh, do you like zombie movies? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you looked out when you asked the question. I was like, what the I got. I got well, I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> this is presentational. If I looked at you the whole time, people would see my the side of my face. I don't like. No, as I, much. I, I do like zombie movies, I, but I like, I like, I like, and I like fast zombies too. Because you know, you're either a fast zombie person or a slow zombie person, and I'm a fast. I like fast. So I like 28 Days Later and 28. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, you like up. the ones that run. Yeah. Like World War Z. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That'll Those work. Those are some runners. <laughs> yeah. No. Like, they all climb up on top of each other. I feel like my mic's not it's on. It's weird. It's not? Hello. Yeah, I think you're on. Oh. Yeah, Can someone said hello back. Mm -hmm. Granted, hello. this room isn't that big, so I could probably hear you without it, but I, I think you're good. Um, so I'll go ahead and ask you, what was the last movie you saw? I saw The Joker. Yeah. Okay, yeah. first of all, it's just Joker, so you're already, <laughs> you already you lost already the point. You already lost the point. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, bro. It was cool. The guy's what? a stand-up comedian. Right, but... Um, and then... And <laughs> <laughs> that's well, a big, that's a big um. It's not a secret. It's in the trailer. People know he's a stand-up. No, I know, but is he, though? I mean, yeah. he seems just deluded. He doesn't seem well, to be, like, doing it for real. It resonated with me, and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and what I learned is, is as a comic, if the audience doesn't laugh, you have an excuse to do anything. No pressure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she, la she laughed so that Vanessa won't do something terrible. <laughs> Stab somebody in the ear with a... Um, anyway. Uh, people are having a kind of a mixed reaction to that, but I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Did you like it? Uh -uh. You didn't like you it. Like it? <laughs> um, it's very. I like the. It's shot in a cool way. There's some cool music in there, but uh, you know, I think, I think being old doesn't help with that movie because it's very Taxi Driver and very King of Comedy. Yeah, yeah a couple so, people said that. Yeah. Fight Club too, supposedly. Really? That's what I heard. No, oh. I didn't see it. Yeah. Anybody hear that? Fight Club too? I don't, I don't too? know no? if it's got Fight Club in it. That's what I heard. Maybe some of the shots are Fight Club esque because it's a. It's a beautiful, violent movie. Now, Mark, Hi. I know you're you're here every night. Yeah. Doing the shows. Yeah. So, how do you do? You go to the movie theater. I ever? haven't been to a movie in a while, actually. But you watch them. I do watch them. You see them on your home on, devices. On, on your Netflix and your the, your Hulu's. Mm -hmm. So, what was the last thing you watched? Uh, the El Camino. <laughs> that was for you. El Camino. <laughs> El Camino. A, a Breaking Bad story. Yeah. Is that uh, count? Does that, that counts, right? As a movie? Uh huh. Yeah. 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 It's uh, to me, it was like two ep two more episodes of Breaking Bad, but uh, it's still uh, El Camino. I got lost in the time. The warps Breaking Bad a movie. Uh, I was told to watch his hair later or they, his skin or something. Yeah, they jump around in time a lot, and uh, and so they also have to do those uh, effects that they do nowadays, where they make people you know look younger, yeah. and uh, I'm still creeped out by that. You know, Did you like it? Like, like Sam Jackson in that uh, in um, Captain Marvel, right? Isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, I, I just can't. I can't cat. ever just let go and not sit there going, "Man, that's fucking weird looking." Then don't. <laughs> then do not see Gemini Man. It is. That's all it is. Right, because it's, it's Will Smith acting with Will Smith. But yeah. But he's a hundred percent fake. But yeah, one of them. Right? So that's like. Is younger though. Yeah, and it's it's horrible. It's like you remember when uh, Keanu Reeves fought himself in the Matrix too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks just like it's so cheesy. It's like it's not ready. It's not ready. Like the technology's <laughs> not ready. <laughs> Bro, but what was worse, that or did you see him in Aladdin? Uh, yeah. Well, Will, Will Smith's not Bro, good at that's all. That's a night of nightmares. <laughs> Will Smith is. Wow, we're not here to take down Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love him, but like, did you see him? The blue. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the color genies are, but... <laughs> Yeah, but CGI He has lots terrifying. of scenes where he gets to just be his regular color. Can we, you know that? Does color really matter? No. Okay. Matter. <laughs> no. Did you see the trailer of Cats? Yeah. You guys uh, see that trailer? Yeah. Imagine Cats and then put the genie in there. That'd be like so scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I thought, you know, Will Smith's singing isn't the greatest, but, um, you know, I, I just, it's funny you bring this movie up because I just watched it on a plane and, um, I, uh, I, you know, I thought Will Smith's little wisecracks were, were fun. His jokes? Yeah, I know. Well, he didn't write them. No, I know. But <laughs> nor, nor do most actors that are funny yeah. in movies. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, but I, I see what you're talking about, though. It was, it was, uh, it was a weird experience. Mark? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh Prince? <laughs> <laughs> What movie did you say? El Camino. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow we got off. We started just did you like, taking did, down Will Smith. Did you like El Camino? <laughs> did you like El Camino? I, I, well, I, that's what I'm saying is... Uh, it's well made, for it's, sure. It's like more Breaking Bad, but you have to get past the... I didn't the, see... What's Breaking the, Bad? <laughs> you have to... Uh, <laughs> you have to get past the, the visual weirdness of, of the time jumps, yeah. and then you also... Um, it's kind of... Oh have to watch episodes of Breaking Bad that don't yeah. have the best character in them. You know, like uh, Heisenberg, a.k.a. Walter White, to me was, was that show as great as Aaron Paul is. So the, the movies were like... Or the he does a good... I mean, there was I wasn't a, mad at it. I yeah, I, 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 thought it was, I thought it was perfectly enjoyable. Yeah. And, uh, and I always look forward to anything uh, out of that universe, including uh, the next season of Better Call Saul. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. Which I, li- I actually like Better Call Saul better, more than uh, Breaking Bad. Really? Uh, strangely enough, yeah. It's just me. That's you. It's just a different thing is all. <laughs> it's less violent, less, uh, less drugs. Michael McKeon. More Michael McKeon. Yeah, it's got a lot more Michael McKeon. <laughs> Not anymore. Than Breaking Bad did. Oh, you, you and your spoilers. <laughs> now, I know Mark does impressions. Some of the best in the business. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's, let's, let's up. <laughs> well, I'd just like to uh, see if any of my guests have any uh, impressions that they'd like to do, because I enjoy, I enjoy doing them. I'll do, I'll do oh, one no, if you okay. want me to. Right. And I like, I like learning new impressions, you know, like when other oh, people do them. Do oh. You know, like I can, I, can do you, I can do your De Niro, because I've heard you do it so much. See. But wait, are you going to um, guess what it this is? is uh, well, I already just said De Niro, so. <laughs> do something we have to guess. It, it kind of ruins it. But um, I think all good impressions, you tell people what the impression is before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, your De Niro is uh, if he were a uh, rabbi? Or no, oh, he's talking to a rabbi. As a little Jewish boy. As a little Jewish boy. (laughs) You cut my (laughs) pee-pee? So. (laughs) Yeah, I got Let me do my new one. Oh, he's got a new one, everybody. This is Robert De Niro as a shepherd. Yo. Yo. All right. That one feels older somehow. <laughs> well, it's new for me. <laughs> 20 years. Yeah, you take all the edge off of the old one. It's more family friendly. Less, less, w- less anti-Semitic. I did, I, I've, never seen you do, I've never seen you do an impression. I don't, I'm not good at it. Oh. That's, that's part of the fun for me. Is tr- just trying them, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess Bane is an impression. Bro, that's what I was going to do. How'd you know? <laughs> That's your go-to impression, Bane? That's what I was going to do. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, it's so much pressure. Okay. <laughs> just just <coughs> say Let something just about censor. coming out of the shadows. Okay. Oh, you think darkness is your friend. I was born in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Bane is, but I, yeah. that sounds like Yoda a little uh, bit, too. I got to tell you, I don't bro? know. <laughs> born in it, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Batman I killed. Batman kill I. Uh, except for that one, that noise you do impressions of, Carlos. Do you do any? Uh, I, I could uh, <laughs> uh, a, a Val Kilmer in, in Tombstone. <laughs> I love it already. Is this is I this like more it. visual than? Uh, um, no, because like, well, I guess it, I, I don't know. Is it the scene where he's twirling the little cup on his finger? No, that, that's a dope scene. No, because everyone the favorite lines is, is "I'm your Huckleberry," but my favorite line is when um, 
they kill the sheriff in the middle of the town, and the and the, the cowboys have all their guns drawn on on the uh, Wyatt Earp's brother, you know, the the red sashes, the AKA the Bloods, and so. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, Val Kilmer is in the, in the bar, and he kicks the saloon doors open, and they just, and then all of a sudden, he pulls out his gun, and he goes, and you, music lover. And then all of a sudden, the, the cowboy looks over, and he goes, oh, it's just a drunk lunger. He's a drunk, he's probably seeing double. And then Val Kilmer, smooth as fuck, pulls out a second gun, and he goes, I've got two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> Val Kilmer kills it in that movie. Yeah. He's so good. He's the best, best part I of that I want to know movie. why I like that voice so much, and I realize because it's Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I say, boy, I say, boy. <laughs> I say, I say, I say it. <laughs> You're chopping in a bowling ball. One. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you've, heard, you've heard me do Marvin Martian, haven't you, Mark? We've yeah. been friends for a long time. Sure. Yeah. I declare this planet in the name of me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I'm assuming that sounds like whoever he was impersonating. I have no idea who that was. <laughs> you don't know a little Martian from Bugs Bunny? No. No? What? Bro, he did a good job. You weirdo. <laughs> I'm old, man. What, what, That's what, what does that have to do with it? That's a perfect reason to no, know I don't, it. I don't remember. That's from remember like 1950s. Bugs Bunny started during World War II. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know. Oh, so I what, thought it was very good. I want to hear. So yum, yellow. I want to see him do an impression. I just. Did I know, but one. no, no, but one that you haven't that that, they, that oh, you that haven't I done. have to yeah, do that, 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 uh, spontaneous. I see. Uh, Michael Caine. Okay. Thank you for that request. Somewhere, it sounds like a setup, but go ahead. I think I can only say one thing, because remember that song that? Um, oh, what band did that song called Michael Caine? And uh, it was in the 80s, I think. And um, every few minutes in the song, you just hear, my name is Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Master Bruce. <laughs> yeah, Master Bruce. And, uh, and also, like, I was obsessed for a while in Dark Knight Rises. Um, he uh, says, um, he's talking about fantasizing about being like in Italy or somewhere and then seeing Batman with a family and everything. And he goes, as I sit there drinking my Fernie Blanca, and it's Fernet is how it's pronounced. I, I found out later. He just made up a new way to say it. And I, I would go around saying it all the time. And I tried that drink in a bar, the uh, Fernet Blanca, and uh, it's disgusting. Uh, it's uh. like Jägermeister if it was dusty. Ugh. Uh. By the way, I love how during when they were filming the movie, probably no one felt comfortable correcting him. Right. Or, but I mean, it's also a drink nobody really knows about. But uh, like, how you could never walk huge up in to Michael Tampa Kane and be like, "That's not how you say it, bro." You'd be like, "Uh huh." <laughs> I'll say it however I want, <laughs> Master Bruce. Master Bruce. <laughs> Southern Michael Kane. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Neil Young song, isn't it? My name is Michael Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Southern cane better. I think he does. Um, <laughs> your head. Now he do does, cocaine. He does cockney. <laughs> <laughs> My cane. <laughs> oh, sorry. Michael Caine doing a line of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> I do, I do Sean Connery. Wait, somewhere. did he do it? Did he do a line or did he do a hit of cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> a, a toot. I do Sean Connery singing Marcy Playground. Ready? Oh, I love it. I smell sex and candy. <laughs> I say, go ahead, go ahead and take that beat in between sex and and candy. You know, like they do in the song. I smell sex and. You smell sexy? <laughs> I can't do it. No, you fucked it. I smell sex. And candy. Oh, wow. That's, that's how you good. do it. You do older Michael Caine. <laughs> I mean, uh, Sean Connery. His, 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 Sean Connery's so old, he's his, Michael Caine. His, yeah. his, balls, his balls have dropped in your impression. I mean, you could just do whole scenes from uh, the, man, well, the man who would be king. They're in that together, and they talk to each other a lot. What, what, and what, you what, could do both what, parts. I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> now that you know how to do but, Michael Caine <laughs> and, and old Sean Connery. You guys are funny. It's like, but who's on first? I don't know. <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was a fun round of uh, let's do some impressions. <laughs> and, uh, but now it's time to, to, you know, get serious. And 
here, here comes here comes my Bane impression. Speaking of impressions, let the games begin. We got name tags. Some of them are so big, the people who made them don't even want to lift them up off the ground. And um, oh, there's the uh, Ragnar Rob that I saw on the on the internet. There's a gentleman over there. Just hold, there, uh, both of them are holding up DVDs that, that maybe you'll get to keep. But um, if each of you could just get up from your seat and go pick the name tag you like the best and bring it back, great job. Stand By Me starring uh, Carrot Top and Mark Cohen didn't get chosen. Did you see yourself on there? No, I, don't, I didn't see. I your can't face see is that. way bigger on that one uh, than no it is shit. on the one you did pick. Can I return? <laughs> are, are you even on? I don't think one? I'm on this one. He's either. not even on. But right. I don't have a big ego. Right. Are you at candy? But you like Skittles? Yeah, I just... All right. Yes, that's what Rob's playing. I mean, I don't Mark know. is playing for... I don't for know anybody on there, actually. Ragnar Rob. Yeah, you put Amy Miller on there and me and Todd Glass. And... Oh, you're Loki at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There. I can't say it. But Nobody's ever said that about Mark Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> He's low-key at the bottom. No, low-key. Low-key. Low key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and uh, and you do you like Skittles? Is that why you picked? I love it? Skittles. Okay. So I put it in vodka. Actually. Oh. Why just oh. you threw it down like that? I did throw it down. Rob's okay with it. Skittles and vodka, though. Now, Rob, are you okay with the fact that you're not going to win today? <laughs> 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 Who are you playing for, Vanessa? Uh, <laughs> there it is, Ron Man Three. I yeah. I love that one. That one's super cool. Good pick. <laughs> Carlos? Uh, I got Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Yeah. All right. And it's got some weed on there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But I, I'm trying to get my kids back, so I can't fuck with it. <laughs> can, I, <laughs> can I see that for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's really on there. Oh, wow. CDB. Like a like a toy from Toys R Us. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> it spins around. Oh, you know, all, even when you're just giving weed to people uh, during a game show, it has to be child safe. <laughs> but I'm going to get it. Nevada law. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right on. Is that a legal thing or a greedy thing? What do you mean? Did you take it off there for legal reasons? <laughs> no, he took it off there because Carlos doesn't want it. Yeah, yeah, because I don't smoke He's it. He's sober. What's he yeah. going to do, give it back to the guy? <laughs> that, that's how he got his name tag on stage. Don't call him a guy. Call him Michael yeah. Caine. <laughs> that's who he is. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. What's all this then? Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bad. fighting and what for? <laughs> I said, some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> but, what? Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> that one. Uh, when he talks about how he, uh, he tried to capture that one guy with the jewels, and they found the jewels in the uh, in the in the field in Batman, in uh, was the Dark Knight Rich Rises, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 hey, some men just like to watch a weird, uh, watch a world burn. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to watch it burn. <laughs> okay. What's the movie he was in with the da the daughters on the island with the. Michael Caine and the Blame It on Rio. Blame It on Rio. That was a good one. Yeah, with Demi Moore. With Demi Moore. Was that who it was? With Demi her Moore? old boobs. With her and, old boobs. Uh, <laughs> there we <co> go. Co-starring. <laughs> <laughs> and another... Uh, Robert... Another, Joseph Bologna? Another lady that hasn't been... Didn't uh, go on to be in movies much anymore. Who's that? The other lady. Oh, you don't even know her name? The one that Michael Caine has sex with that's supposed to be underage. It's... That movie would be a bummer to watch now. Who was the other guy? Joseph Bologna, was it? Maybe. Sounds about right. Sounds like a Joey Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This so um, we're going to play some games and determine a winner. And uh, this first game is called Live, Die, Repeat. Oh, yeah. It's an audience favorite. <laughs> people, people can't get enough of it. And uh, Mark, you've played this before. Okay. Have you played this before, Carlos? I don't think so. Okay, this is the one where I'm, I'm pretty sure Vanessa hasn't either. This is where I'm going to say the title of an actual movie. If we repeat. I'm going to say it slowly. I'll start it over at the beginning after each time one of you guesses, but just guess as often as you like. Uh, the first person to say the full correct title of the movie 
wins. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do remember this game. <laughs> <laughs> that clears it up. It's trivia for people who don't know answers. <laughs> you can just do this, and it's still, it's still a, a movie, and uh, we'll see who gets it first. <clears throat> I hope people are getting ready. They're like, I don't know. Yeah. I tied well, my shoes and shit. I already know I lost, so I'm just going to sit back. <laughs> I have to, uh, yeah, some people just don't even try. It's going to take, take me a time to get it, I think. One time. <laughs> Whatever you're going to say. Well, that's the thing, is at some point you will have heard the entire title. Uh. <laughs> and so that, that's a great time to then just go ahead and repeat it back. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if, if you no, can. Okay. okay. All right. All right. And, um... <laughs> Find an email. I have, to be able, I have to be able to see everybody. I mean, I guess I don't need to see Vanessa... <laughs> She's not even gonna try, but I, I gotta see your mouths because one of you might, you might say it almost the same time. <laughs> don't lead, don't lead forward too much, Carlos, because there's a lady over there who won't be able to see any of this. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on my core. <laughs> Here we go. A nightmare. A nightmare. Before Christmas. A Nightmare Before on Elm Street. Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, continue. A Nightmare on Elm Street. On Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Dirty Road. Dream Child. <laughs> a Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warrior. A Nightmare on Elm Street The Final Destination. A Nightmare on, <laughs> a nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Maple Syrup. A Nightmare on Elm Street A Daydream at the House. A Nightmare <laughs> on Elm Street A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, a nightmare three. On Elm Street three a nightmare Dream Street Warriors. Three. That's it. A, <laughs> nice street, a Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you I had, know that? I had, my, <laughs> I had no friends. He was guessing so many different versions of the title. It was fun that he finally, uh, finally managed to get there. So, Carlos, you won that. Get a, okay. Give yourself a foie, foie, foie. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, you can't do that no more. Never no, What do you mean? Why? Because I, I, I guess like in public places, like, it's like almost like bomb threat thing type of thing, especially, you know what I mean? Bra, bra. Like, cause it's like it's it's gunshots. What do rappers do? It's gunshots. I never even heard of it. Going bra 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 bra. It's like bra bra. Yeah yeah. Bra bra. Yeah, you're not supposed to be doing. That sounds like guns. It's supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> Shots fired. Come on, you guys, don't do that anymore. Yeah. Let me hear Michael Caine doing the blow. Oh, Michael Caine doing blow blow blow. Doing the <laughs> public service announcement. Blow blow blow. <laughs> blow 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 blow. Michael Caine. I said. Bang, 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 bang. Little, bang. little, little. Yourself. <laughs> Pile. All right. Okay, so I came up with a new game we're going to play next. I'm very excited. It's, it's that very, was it? That was the whole excited. game? Yeah, that's the whole game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, right. Carlos won. Good job, buddy. Carlos, uh, Carlos is the best at that yeah, game. Good. You were, I, for someone that's playing, you were, you were giving me, you are going. <laughs> You're going for the run. Yeah, Vanessa really went for it. I, I like that. I like that. Oh, I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then she, she, pulled, she cut me from the side. Dove she had to pull right out in. a knife. She's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the competitive nature just kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so easy. Nightmare on Elm Street. I didn't know it. He didn't even say I, things. I could, well, it would have been cheating. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't know it, so I, was, I knew it. Once they said a Nightmare on Elm Street, I knew what it was. <laughs> Those are like the first Harry Potters, huh? Like, oh. a, like the name, the the extra title. I got that of stuff. I watch all of them every year. Oh, oh shit! On a specific day, or? can't believe I said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was supposed to be inside voice. <laughs> you have a Harry Potter like time of year, or you're just saying you just watch them frequently? I watch all eight every year, like once a year. I'll go through all of them. A a in a sitting or over a period of time? Like over like a week. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You're just like, it's fucking Harry Potter week. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. It's mm -hmm. like Shark Week. It's like, yeah. Harry it's pretty Potter. amazing. You like relive your life, your childhood, you know? No, okay. Never Through mind. Harry Potter? Yeah. I get it. 
What's that laugh? <laughs> it sounds like he's like. That's just that's Chelsea. That's like a French laugh. <laughs> Chelsea decided to bring that laugh on the road. <laughs> Who's that? That's my Michael French, my French laugh. Okay, that's Michael Caine. French, French laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my French laugh. <laughs> 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 Bonsoir, Nelly. See, that doesn't offend anybody. That's a voice oh. you can do that no French, French, no French person to be like, I, I do not sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> the French police have come in. <laughs> Who is making fun of the French? <laughs> bon, bon, bonjour. You mean the gendarme? <laughs> oh, Jean Bon Jovi. In England, they have the Jean unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> Cops don't have guns. That's what that joke is. That's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking French. What the fuck's up with them? Mark and I are a new comedy team. We're called Nobody Wants to See Us. <laughs> <laughs> and I open, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're playing over at the Sahara. <laughs> in 1978. You were uh, in a Rat Pack show for a while. <laughs> That's right. Right after the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Friends thing. <laughs> who do you? Uh, I forgot who I the played. Mattress the Mattress King thing got you uh, the Rat Pack role. You know what though? And, it uh, was it was here. It was at the at, at the Rio. You were Joey Bishop. I was Joey Bishop, and David Cassidy was the uh, was the producer. Yeah. Oh, he's the producer. I thought you were going to say he played uh, <laughs> he, he played uh, Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up in love this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that's what's his name. That's the comedian. <laughs> Oh, Dennis, chick, Dennis, Dennis Miller says Dennis, cha-cha. Dennis <laughs> but he probably got it Who from... Who can take the sunrise, cha-cha? He probably <laughs> got it from <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> can I get a, a thing of water? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, the awesome. the prince would like some water. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, try, ask it, ask it, Frank. 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 Sing that. You can't see the stage, you guys, but that was a solid piece of visual humor. <laughs> a Jewish girl. I think he's going to get a war. I think he might be. That's very cool, man. Thank you so much. I just appre- an audience member is going to do that? But I appreciate it. I'm really nervous yeah, thanks, up here. Thanks, dude. It's very nice, man. Wow, I love that. Just get people from the audience to fetch us okay. things. <laughs> <laughs> when he comes back. Remember we, someone remember get remember me a number two from McDonald's. I'm going <laughs> to say, when that guy comes back, I'm going to say red shoots or red shirts are stupid. <laughs> So, he, anyways, the French. he's already back. He heard it <laughs> softly, Thanks, dude. Thank you, man. That was that. very sweet. Nice I, little, hope, uh, I hope they didn't charge it for that. So much. I owe you. And one. so, Aquafina, they're saying she might get nominated for Best Actress <laughs> for her performance in The Farewell, Mark. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, this game starts with Carlos because he won the last one. And Carlos, it's the game is called Quick Q. I'm just going to ask you a question, and uh, all you got to do s- at this point is just answer it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is your favorite horror movie? It's that time of year where people watch horror movies. Okay. Next month, people catch up on their Harry Potters, but this month... <laughs> <laughs> Is the answer the same for every question? We watch something? horror movies, and uh, what do you think, Carlos? Um, What's your favorite? What one would you recommend to people? Um, it's kind of... It's a little older, but it's called The, the Collector. I like The Collector. Yeah. Yeah, The Collector was... De- Who's was, in that? It's, uh, it's the dude from Batman. It's, it's Bane's henchman. He's in it. Uh, it's so crazy. Cause, so the premise of the movie, I'm not going to give it away too much, but the guy goes to rob a house. But when he goes to inside to rob the house, there's already a killer in there trying to kill the family. And so he's like, fuck. It's great. Yeah, that's a situation. Yeah, that's yeah. It's dope. <laughs> it's surprisingly good. You Is know it what I mean? from another country? No, no. It's from here. It's, it, 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 matter of fact, they made a sequel to it called The Collection. And uh, but it's on. That's on Netflix. It's weird. It's they got part two on Netflix, but they got part one on it. But yeah, it's called The Collector. You should check it out. That's good. That's that's a good little horror flick. And yeah. Okay. I stand by that. That's his answer. Everybody. That's a, so that's a right or wrong answer. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it could be eventually. Okay. okay. You'll you'll see where this is going. Okay. Vanessa, 
Okay, it's not a good movie, but it was like the last. It was the only horror movie I ever saw. Really, The Grudge. <laughs> oh, when I was oh. thirteen. Because yeah, you, bro. You, it was di- so you scary. saw that one, and then you just dipped on horror movies all yeah. together. I was like, "Fuck this, bro!" For like a like that little thing. Every time I saw her, <laughs> the hair, the hair. <laughs> uh, bro, well, don't watch the Adams Family then, if you don't like <laughs> someone with their hair in their face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg is the is it cousin it in the current Adam Family true? cartoon. Do you no. want do you want to do a sample of what that sounds like? One, two. I don't know. No, I can't do it. <laughs> it sounds like, like they just sped up his voice or something. It doesn't even sound like him. I'm trying to think of what he sounds like. Snoop sounds Dogg? like Snoop Dogg. Let me hear it. One, two, three, into the fold. Oh, that's spot on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now it's <seems> like French. <laughs> he would, I, I could just see his face at me trying to do an impression of him. He would, <laughs> he would be so displeased. There's no amount of weed that would make him enjoy that. <laughs> uh, but so The Grudge is your go-to for uh, talking about horror movies because it's the only one you've ever seen. And it is, it is uh, tr- trippy. Well, I feel like or now creepy. if you went back, you'd watch it. It'd probably be funny, right? Because it's so... I saw It too. I guess that's a scary movie, right? Yeah. That was yes. funny. That was hysterical, <laughs> That's bro. what it's supposed to be. That You thought that was funny instead of scary? It was so scary. funny. It was The It too. Yeah. Did you guys see it? Bro, yeah. those titties? The what? old ones? There's some old oh, the titties gra- in the it? The grandma titties. No, you're thinking... What am I waiting for? The grandma titties. <laughs> you're not thinking of It. You're thinking of Tit. <laughs> 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 and Tit too. So there's just like an old lady that whips them out for some yeah. reason? What's the excuse? Uh, it's it. Good old fun. <laughs> oh, it's it. The cla- Pennywise the clown that turns into an old lady with an swinging, old, swinging old, old tits? A naked old lady. Yeah. But huge, bro. So her tits are like coming at you? You didn't? It's like 3D. It's in 3D? <laughs> You guys saw it, right? You know what I'm talking about? It's crazy. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need I that shit. I think, it's <laughs> in, I think it's in 3060. Oh, ladies hey. and gentlemen. He's here all week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, so we've got the collector and we've got the grudge. And uh, now, Mark, it's oh. your turn. To it's between. Favorite? The, not between. I need okay. you to select one. One horror movie. That's your favorite. The, the Omen with Gregory Peck. Recommend the Gregory Peck Omen. It's all for you. What's his name? Damien. Damien. It's all for you, Damien. His nanny walks out. On, uh, they're having a, his birthday party, and he's on a little uh, merry-go-round, and she walks out onto the, bal- uh, onto the roof of the uh, estate, the mansion, and she's like, this is all for you, Damien, and just jumps off and hangs herself in front of all the children. Huh? Yeah, and doesn't the and p- that's one of like there's at least a ten or twelve moments like that in that movie. <gasps> doesn't the priest get you know what? It with a mm-hmm. cross? The, or something? the priest a, um, a like a, a lightning hits a, uh, a cross, a lightning rod or something, or a piece of something falls off. A metal stake goes through the guy. But the best one is the photographer where the the truck is uh, the truck is backing up. That's got a bunch of panes of glass in the back, and it stops suddenly. And uh, one of the panes of glass shoots out and just fucking slices off his head. And his head f- flips around a few Has times anybody in slow seen motion. It? It's good stuff. Nobody's seen it? They've made a yeah. ton of Omen movies, but the first one was the best one. And the music was just very... Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, whenever, whenever there's nothing really exciting happening, that music is there to make you go, holy fuck, this, this fucking kid... They go to one of those old drive through zoos, because I don't think they do that anymore. And uh, a bunch of monkeys just start throwing themselves at the car because of the Damien, because of the That's, d- that devil was a, kid. That was, a, that was a repeat. That was the first one? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. It's full of incident. <laughs> <laughs> actually, a famous, it's a famous director or writer, actually. Yeah, uh, the book was by Mario Puzo, the same no, guy who wrote no, The Godfather. No, 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 that's not true. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 think, I don't think that's true. No, you're right. It is, but it is an author that's famous uh, and did other things. And then uh, the movie was directed by uh, Richard Donner, th- That's I think? not true. I don't think that's true. <laughs> you could do a good impression of Kevin from The Office. <laughs> well, that's not true. That's not true. I don't think that's yeah. true. <laughs> that's not It true. wasn't Puzo, though, I don't think, was it? No. No. But it was somebody. Somebody that, famous like that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll hear about it later. 
I'm not even going to bother the corrections department, though, because I, I, I'm not saying anything that's wrong. I'm just saying I don't know who it is. Um, I think when you said Mario Puzo, that was wrong. <laughs> right. We, we, got, we established it's wrong. But you just said I didn't say anything <laughs> I wrong. agreed. All right. Okay. Mom and Dad, quit fighting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, tickets are sub- still available for Nobody Wants to Watch This. <laughs> Corky and Lady Bulls. Shorty and Lady Bulls. Shorty and Lady Shorty. <laughs> in the bus, Shade, Cardi B, Shade, Cardi B. I'll take one ticket, please. <laughs> see, I think we just we just sold a ticket. But nobody wants to see us. <laughs> okay, so now <laughs> I'm going to say each of my guests' names, and the audience is going to applaud for which answer they like the best. <laughs> right? Oh, no. I'm glad this guy's back in time. Oh. <laughs> he missed Mark's answer, but that's cool. <laughs> Wait up. Uh, <laughs> let's do it again. What's your, what's your, <laughs> what's your answer? Do you, you, have, you have a scary movie? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't want to win this thing. He's the host. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably say, like, Psycho or something. Psycho. He's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi B. I was a tour guide at uh, Universal for... A, Brief spell uh, when I first moved to LA, and uh, you know they have the house from Psycho is one of the things you drive by in the tram tour, and uh, you know we were always looking for jokes to throw in on the tour just to amuse ourselves, and one that uh, I heard that another dry, uh, another tour guide did that I appropriated and did all the time was I'd say to the people uh, coming up over here on the left is the house from the legendary movie Psycho, so we refer to it as the psycho house and oh do you see that little road leading up to the house that's the psychopath over here <laughs> over here we have a giant <laughs> tank of water where <laughs> my favorite one though was <laughs> At one point, uh, they used to have this uh, special effects tour in the middle of the tram tour where you get everybody off the tram. It was a total nightmare because as a tour guide, you had to you know, tell them all to get off the tram and then guide them through these different sound stages that had different things that would happen, like, like from 2001, A Space Odyssey, we'd put somebody in a space suit and they'd fly through the air and they'd make it look like he was really in space. But my favorite part was we'd put a kid on a, a bicycle with E.T. in the basket on the front, and then, uh, and then they, you know, recreate, make it look like he's, like he's flying. But, like, and this next sentence is going to sound bad, but you, you have a moment alone with the child, in, in, <laughs> and, the, and the lights are off, so the audience can't see you doing this. So I would always, I would always whisper to the kid, I would say, hey, when I, when I ask you what your favorite movie is, say Citizen Kane. And it was like, you know, it was like always like a five- or six-year-old or something, or an eight-year-old. And then I, you know, then I just ask him, and it, it would just get such a big laugh most of the time. But sometimes it would totally bomb if uh, if it wasn't a real smart crowd. All right, so that's that's my answer. Uh, how many people? Oh, this is a great. This is great. How many people, because of Carlos suggesting it, are going to see the Collector? Yeah. Okay, we got a few. How many people now are excited to maybe revisit or check out for the first time The Grudge? <laughs> what I like about this game is I didn't warn you guys that this part was going to happen. Yeah. Bro, I would have so like, like so you didn't really sell your <laughs> no, movies very I been hard. Like Rosemary's Baby or something. Yeah, yeah you would have been given a much better answer. <laughs> and then or it too, it chapter 2. And then uh, I already forgot Marks. What was yours? Oh, okay. oh, hey. Yeah, how many like the omen? Uh, we're gonna check out the omen. Say, what do I win? Where's that joint? All right, Ragnarok. He's back. Mark won that game. Wow, that's the first time I've won. Yeah, you won a game. I think you've won a game before. No, no. no. <laughs> now, are, are the Brady kids rebuilding the uh, Psycho House? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know what to does say anybody, to help you with that setup. Does anybody get that joke? No. Did you see the Brady kids have redone the house? This guy knows, see? That's my audience. The Brady Kids redid their own house? It's on, what's it on, HGTV or something? Oh. Brady, Brady Kids renovation and they- This they, old Brady house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They go in and try to turn houses into the Brady house? Oh no, it's the, it's the Brady house 
from the outside, but they made the inside like the set. Am I right? That's what it is? Yeah. They yeah, the Brady Bunch kids? This is a show? With the kids. That's yeah. like worse than I Dancing believe- with the Stars. It's, it's, it was a huge success. In six- terms of your career. I can't believe only- you said this, is, this show is on HPV? HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They greenlit this show? <laughs> That's creepy. Poor yeah, I'm doing <laughs> I just skip right past the HPV channel. <laughs> I don't even pause on it because it's like the grudge. <laughs> my, my cat likes it. Oh, no, it. that wasn't the, what's the <laughs> grudge. It was the grudge. There, the other one where they, if you watch the tape. Uh, oh, uh, the ring. Oh. The ring. The ring. Why isn't it called the tape? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a ring. Oh, yeah, it. why is oh, it the ring? Oh, forget it. Is it because she was down no, the no, hole? The, huh? No, there's a ring on the, oh, isn't it a ring on the screen? Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like PG-13 horror movies. Cause, no. Because they, they just have to be creepy and that, that's all they do. They're not really scary. You know who shit the bet on that is the Conjuring movies are all starting to do that. Like all the Annabelles and the They're trying to PG- let the family audience in. Was, yeah. Was it R? Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. I liked it. Strong R. It's not a lot of PG-13s with uh, pendulous breasts <laughs> no, that was of an old lady who's also a clown. <laughs> that's, no, that's two. That's two. That was, she, the tits weren't in one, right? That's it, too. Yeah. It's tit, two. Yeah. Tit, two. Tit, two. <laughs> Trust me, though, Mark. It, one, had some fucked up things in it, too. Really? Yeah. It was good. How the thing st- I like best about the It movies is there's only two chapters. I love short books. <laughs> it's actually a massive book. <laughs> Yeah, um, you were gonna say, Mark? I forgot it. So it was, it was a joke about it was a joke about tit, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, I forget it. It's not good. <laughs> I like it's more comfortable. Your I'm, chair I'm, isn't I'm, enough. I'm, you have no, to. I'm, uh, I have this you have little, to lean on my chair. Do you, does it really bother you? It doesn't bother no, me no, at all. No, because it's more comfortable. It's very relaxed. <laughs> it's just weird. That's what you get happens i forgot to mention that the bag that i brought all this stuff in is from Ten Thousand laughs comedy festival oh. uh, as well it's a really good festival i i only did the first night and got out of town because i had to come here to vegas but uh but uh thank you for that where is it thank you for that where Minneap- was it minneapolis oh yeah you said that yeah 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 all right now this now look, we're, hold on i just want to point this out he didn't give a shit that i had it there but look what he did you look see what i he, did he I, just, as soon as i took it off as soon as like it was gone i was like, like, like i just want to like, sit like you like we're on an airplane i want to be <laughs> <laughs> oh i was on a flight recently where <laughs> i now gotta now feel it i had to we gotta protect it our is a little arms more, dude. Little more comfortable mark's gonna come over to my real estate <laughs> I, had to, I had to he hear. wins one game and now he thinks he can <laughs> hey the omen <laughs> <laughs> I had to hear two guys have the uh, stop hogging the armrest conversation, which I never have with somebody. If they're hogging the armrest, I just squeeze up and try to get through it. Uh, but uh, they were like arguing about it so much, and the one guy was was kind of sounded kind of like a hippie, because he was just like, "Dude, relax," and the other guy was like, "If you don't fucking move your arm," <laughs> and then called the flight attendant a bitch. No. <laughs> 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 she seemed nice to me, but uh, he calls the He's flight attendant. He's going wild. Give me this armrest. She's a bitch. I'm going to fly. <laughs> it just felt like it was going to escalate to like maybe a fist fight or something. And I, you know, I wanted the plane to take off. So I was just sitting there hoping that it wouldn't happen. Because like when people do shit like they that, the whole they get everybody off the plane and stuff. Or they bring <laughs> cops in and drag them off. Whatever. So <laughs> They're like, Mr. Cohen, you have to leave. <laughs> but but the guy just looks at the I mean I would feel so terrible saying to a flight attendant hey could you tell this guy to not hog the armrest and she goes sir could you please not uh, you know can you share well could you tell him can you yeah like and, she, and then she says it to him and the guy's like okay and then that was that was the end of it it sounds like a kindergarten like <laughs> it was it was weird and tell him who it was Oh, it was Henry Winkler. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> nicest guy in show business. Nicest guy, nicest guy nicest in show business. So you pick him. Yeah, that's what I did. All right, who was the other guy? I was gonna say two names, but <laughs> uh, that was, I can't add lib at all. The other guy was Tom Brokaw. <laughs> oh, that was that was uh, Tom uh, Tom uh, Hanks. <laughs> yeah, he's the other nicest guy 
in, in show business. Suppo- <laughs> but that's true, though, that Tom Hanks and Henry Winkler supposedly don't like each other. Really? I got to tell you. Is that I true? Did, is that I true? think I heard that recently. I did a pilot. And, and, I uh, made that up recently. And Henry, <laughs> <laughs> I was all in. He got me. Yeah. And Mark was supposed to make a pilot. <laughs> so oh, no. pilot. I, I made a pilot when Henry Winkler was the uh, was the one of the producers, and he came up to me the, the last day of taping. He goes, "You're a genius." <laughs> the next day, I got fired. <laughs> I was like, "You're the fucking nicest guy in show business." Whoops. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm not going to be in the happy you know, days. He, <laughs> <laughs> if he were to grade you, uh, uh, you know, for your performance, he'd probably give you an A. Hey. <laughs> well, I, they. St- <laughs> hey. And if he tried to apologize to you for firing you, he'd be like, I'm. S- s- I'm. S- s- I'm. Because s- Fonz couldn't say he was sorry. <laughs> he couldn't say it. He couldn't. He couldn't fucking make the. What's that? <laughs> oh, of course, oh, yeah, bro. No, of course right. she is. Thanks for calling me out. Uh, <laughs> she was born like 20 years after this shit. <laughs> hey, this this show jumped the shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, <laughs> go back to talking about friends. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's only 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Comedy Central just bought it. Like they're gonna start showing it. I still get you. You still get checks for that thing. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's how residuals work. Yeah, but after all, imagine how much they're making. Try to get on another show, Mark. It's amazing. What is it like? How do you do it? I I was on I was on This Is Us on Tuesday. Everybody saw me. I really was again. What'd you do on This Is Us? I was in my. It was just my nose, like in a corner. (laughs) I I, I play a warm. I play the warm up guy in the in the show. In in the Manny, but this time I was really a glorified extra. They cut out most of my shit. But I wasn't. You were supposed to be the warm-up guy. I, I am in the. They said I wasn't in it, but I am in it. I saw it. Oh, okay. But they just wanted to warn you. You didn't have is any that lines. The Comedy Central. What this is us? <laughs> it, 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 it goes on after all in the family. I'm failing at a game that's not even happening. I'm like, what's this is us? <laughs> Now, this is us is that NBC show that makes people cry because it, char- oh, it really yeah. does, yeah. characters man. really die, but then they come back because there's lots of flashbacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never seen it. You have seen it. <laughs> it no. is, it's a good show. Yeah, I feel like if I did see it, I'd say it I, does, I'd it, like it, to see Mandy too, more. Ah, <laughs> I got it. Nobody else. I got it. <laughs> Most of my jokes are just for Mark Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> And Vito Megaluglia. And by Mark Cohen, I mean the fictional character in the center of the uh, m- musical Rent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I almost you, didn't get there. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to Mark Loves Movies. <laughs> <laughs> you take over, Mark. I can't finish sentence. So this next game is called, and this is the one, this is for all the beans. This one's going to determine everything. Uh, this is called Last Man Stanton, a.k.a. Last Man or Woman Stanton. Mm -hmm. Yes. One clap. It's time to (laughs) update that title, (laughs) unless there's no women on the panel, which is most of the time. I'm going to get a pre-selected audience member to tell me the name of an actor or actress. And then the four of us, I like to play, are gonna take turns naming movies that they were in. Oh. You can't think of one, or you say one that's not correct, you're out, but you each get to go to your person whose name tag you chose, your lifeline. You can go to, you can go to them once, so Mark can go to Rob once, and Vanessa can go to Rob and uh, Carlos can go to Rob. Everyone's name Rob? No. I'm on Don. I got Don. Yeah, he's got Don. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that, but it was fun to say. <laughs> it was fun to say Rob three times. I said Rob three times, and look, at he just appeared. Rob three times. <laughs> on the ceiling if you want me. Everybody. Dink, dink, dink twice nice, on nice. the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's, that's some old ass shit we were singing. Yeah, it was on that movie Now and Later. Yeah, remember it was? That? Now and Later, remember In that the movie? the flashback scenes? No, yeah, yeah, the little girls. Yeah, because it's, yeah, because it's Thora Burton. Then and now? now? Oh, I said Now and Later. Now and Later is the candy that you give to children <laughs> when you're trying to get them to watch a movie with you. <laughs> In the van. <laughs> All right. There's no bonus points for all this information you're, you guys are throwing out. Um... 
I selected I someone s- whose name is, you can't just say it, you have to, oh, I get it now, it has fish in the middle. So it's R, fish, as in P-H, fish, oh. G-W, and I think the G-W stands for groundwater. <laughs> I do. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. F- oh. Who is it? It's oh, you. Shit. Oh, it's him. Uh, it's the guy that brought the, the Rob name tag, oh, Thor right. Ragnarob. Are you serious? Yeah, it happens sometimes. Sometimes the name tag gets picked of somebody I also this picked from fantastic. Twitter. So this is a great opportunity for you to uh, uh, help uh, sway this in your direction because you're going to give me in a moment. And, and your name is Rob, and you flew in for this. Yes. From where? Wow. Des Moines. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, because he knows I won't come to Des Moines. Well, hello. <laughs> hello. It's slightly less exciting than Vegas. I won't be able to check out Lady Gaga when I'm in uh, Des Moines. <laughs> but, uh, and, but you like, uh, you, you're rich there in Des Moines? Like, how can you just say, I'm going to go see Douglas movies in Vegas? Well, I wasn't going to wait for you to leave Des Moines. You weren't going to wait. Aww. You're like that lady that sings the Dawson's Creek theme song. <laughs> I don't want to wait for my life to one. be over. I want to know. Oh, I thought she has a name. Your phone's out. Okay. Who is it? Doug loves sing-alongs. Uh, her name <laughs> is um, <laughs> Kale Cole. Cole. Something uh, Cole. Oh, Natalie Cole. No. no. <laughs> Peter Cole. It is Cole. Michelle Branch. I'm just Cole Sprouse. <laughs> Trying to get for the younger audience. He was on Friends, right? Cole Sprouse? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even born when... Fr- Do you know who Cole Sprouse is? No. no. Does anybody know who Cole Sprouse is? Yeah. yeah. There you go. They have kids. Oh. Okay. Wait, I have a question. Yes. For okay. The guy in the front, what does your shirt say? Softly, gently, sweetly, discreetly. Ooh. Oh, it's from the Tenacious D song, uh, oh. fuck, fuck Her Gently. I was like, okay, lady, we see you. You get the good dick. Softly, <laughs> gently... <laughs> Sweetly, <laughs> discreetly. <laughs> I'm going to take you out for Zanzibar. All right, so Rob, and uh, why Groundwater, just real quick? Your last name is Groundwater. Really? Bruh. Holy shit. What do you do for a living? I hope it's something to do Makes with lawns. Makes TVs. He's like a mortician, <laughs> a groundsman. <laughs> Mortgage oh, processor. Got to give you credit. That's close yeah. to mortician. Do you have your, is your face and name on any, uh, you know, like bus benches in town in, in Des Moines? Not that I know of. Not that you know of. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's where they put the criminals' faces. <laughs> on the bus benches. All right, Rob Groundwater. That's a, is that true? Is that an American Indian name or something? <laughs> Everyone asks that. <laughs> they, when you say your name's Groundwater, they go, how? <laughs> That's so funny, bro. But Damn. what is it? Is it it's German. Scotland, Scotland okay. Oh. There you go. Groundwater. Ah, that's Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do a Jewish. I was Sean Connery asking, <laughs> ordering a drink. I'd like a shot of ground water. <laughs> I do. A, I do a. a, 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 a I forget it. A, I forgot it. A bear, a, an Indian, an Indian Jew. An American Indian Jew. You're gonna okay. do that right now. Mm-hmm. How much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Bro, when you said you were going to do an Indian, I got so nervous. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, at least three buttholes tightened up. And they're like, what's going to happen? Okay, so, <laughs> Rob, what's, the, um, what's your great suggestion today, all the way from Des Moines? I had a mashup. Oh, it's a mashup. So this is going to be two names who uh, you'll see. What are they? What? Amy Adams I knew you were going to pick Sandler for some reason. I How did you know I that? Just, I just felt it. He's a Sandler dude. And we Because when I talked about funny people earlier, for some reason it was in my head. Oh, fuck. I just gave him a, a, a title. Can I be first? <laughs> <laughs> Can I be first? You could have been first if you, if you had a better horror movie to talk about earlier. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. But so Mark's going to go first, then Vanessa, then Carlos, the, then me. And... Um, no, no help from the audience, please. So it's a movie, can, they can be either one of them. It's a movie, it's got Amy Adams or Adam Sandler. Cool. I don't think they've ever worked together. Oh, I'm ready. Mark? Uh, uh, the funny people. 
I like that. I'm, I'm done. I like that. That's uh, he's, that's uh, I'm in it. Smooth, smooth move. Are you I got one line in it. Um, what? I got one line in that one too. In funny people, what's your line? I said to Seth, two minutes. <laughs> so he's having sex or something? No. <laughs> he was like, and then he says back, Hakuna Matata. Ha 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 ha! Okie dokie. That's not. Oh, that's not that's it? Christopher Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> All right, Vanessa. Uh, arrival. Arrival. Oh, that's Amy Adams. Yes. Okay. Uh, Carlos. Uh, click. Oh. Wait, there's no reason to change the channel. We're just getting. <laughs> I thought that was a porno. We're version. just getting oh. into it. I'm gonna say the water ground boy. Oh. <laughs> That's why you picked Sandler. It's right there. In your, water ground. In your name ground water. I could be wrong about this one. Wrong? You don't don't say one that's wrong. I'm not sure. I think I'm you don't know how this the, works. The fighter. What's that? Oh, Amy Adams. Yeah. Correct. Oh. Vanessa. Superman. Uh, Amy Adams played Lewis Lane. Yeah, but you got it. It's not what it's called. What do you mean? You be quiet out there, please. I, I, that's exactly what I mean. It's not called Superman. Oh, Iron, <laughs> Iron, Iron Steel. <laughs> <laughs> We're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> of all okay, the fine. all the Amy Adams movies, you could just pick another one. Okay, fine. Or all uh, the Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, I don't. Uh, okay, Hillbilly Elegy. <laughs> What? Because, well, it's a movie I'm producing, but with Amy, Amy Adams, but it's not out yet. Does that count? It's going to be on Netflix The audience next doesn't year. think it counts, but you don't, <laughs> you're not producing movies like Van Vanessa's producing Bro, that's movies. that's how bad I am. I don't even remember half the movies I've worked on. How many movies have you worked on? Like, I've probably worked on maybe like 15 and then like, uh, like 12 TV shows as a producer. But and I don't even remember half the titles of them. Is, that all, is it all Brian Grazer stuff? Half of it, well, I work at, I work at Imagine Now, but uh, I've been there for a year. But before that was at HBO and other stuff. They don't quiz you about movies when you try to work somewhere like that? No, bro, but I was on it, but then I, <laughs> as soon as I'm done working, I forget the name. Okay, so Amy Adams is going to be in a movie called what? Hillbilly Elegy, Glenn Close. Hillbilly Elegy. Amy Adams. Elegy. Yeah, yeah. okay. Netflix next year. Uh, damn. This one guy is you very excited ticket. about that. You sold the ticket. <laughs> Okay, so well, I, I, I will accept that as an answer because, <laughs> because it's so exciting that she's still in the game. <laughs> uh, which way were oh, we going, shit. Mark? It's not me, is it? Uh, it's me. Oh, okay, Carlos. Uh, Man of Steel. Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Because <laughs> you stole mine, so I just... Uh, what did I say, Iron Steel? You said, uh, you said ironing things or some shit. I said Iron Steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were hovering around it, but you do, you know, we knew what you meant. Um, okay, so back to me. I'm going to say... Do it. Do it. What? Don't take mine. <laughs> oh, now I want to take one that you're going to say, so I'm going to say Happy Gilmore. Wedding singer. The wedding singer. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> Holy shit. You the were whole almost, crowd gasped. You were almost out. <laughs> Bro, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I'm not the first one to lose. <laughs> I still think you have a chance to be that. <laughs> no, I literally don't know anything. <laughs> um, yeah, either Amy or Adam. Yeah, no, it's just really sad. Well, that uh, eight movie, <laughs> Eight Horses, <laughs> David Spade. <laughs> <laughs> You're just giving him the fucking eight <laughs> horses. <laughs> <This is laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why going going after Vanessa is a sweet spot today. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so hateful? <laughs> hateful eight. No, that's. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. <laughs> Wait, isn't that? I loved Adam Sandler and Hateful Eight. I want out of this cabin, Scooby Doo. Wait, no, that's that's, that's, that's Tarantino's movie. <laughs> No, what's the, uh, something six? Oh. Sense. Six cents. You guys know what I'm talking about? Right. <laughs> I think, yes. It was we, like David Spade, Adam who, Sandler. They're about. all riding horses. All it's trash. Came out two years you. ago. We're all not going to tell all right, you I lose. what it is. Oh, no. I don't want to win. Can't you other. ask somebody? Oh, She's I, got a lifeline. You, life you can ask yeah, someone. Yeah, you can ask yeah. your person. Let's go to life Oh, yeah, you know shit for sure. Give me a good one. Give her a good one. The yeah. Ridiculous Six. Fuck. Okay, yeah. We could do Netflix movies too? 
Yeah, yeah they're movies. movies. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know shit. I was like, I thought, we were, I thought it'd be the feature film or something. I'm down. They are, feature, they are feature films. Like, that's the new world we're in now, Carlos. Oh, we're in a new Oh, shit. Is that Netflix is making movies. They, they won Best Picture with Roma last year. Yeah. And that is a movie. Uh, okay. And there's that new De Niro movie well, coming out. Well, because I know you had that big old argument with uh, oh boy about like uh, was it Denzel? He was in a movie on the TV movie, and you were like, you can't call that. And it was uh, Kevin. right because there used to be TV movies, but now those don't exist anymore because we have Netflix. But do they open up now? Since we're Netflix in- puts all their movies in theaters for a little while to get Academy if Award if they want to nominations. Uh, okay. I got one. Wait, it's not <laughs> like your turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna go with. I'm uh, excited for you. There's like a hundred answers. Uh, I'll do eight, eight crazy nights. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, oh, you had to you, pick. You the, could feel you it. Picked, you you could picked feel the most. It. He knew that was coming. You picked the most Jewish title of all the Amy Adams movies. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is, we got this. We got this. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and say, and check this out, you guys. This is a real, I'm really lobbing one out here for you. Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> Who's in that? Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler. Yeah. Listen, I have the... the Is mo- the voice of... I have the movie, and I, I, I can name the director. Dracula. I can't name the, the movie, though. Can I, if I say the director, is that good but enough? But let's say the guy next to you just said Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think would be a, a really great answer to say okay, I got one, immediately I got one, I got after that? Hotel Transylvania 2. That is correct. Oh, damn. Now, Vanessa... <laughs> Okay, water boy. <laughs> <laughs> they already said it. He already Fuck. said it. <laughs> I already said water boy. What did you say after water boy. <laughs> water boy two? No. There's no water boy. Is there a water boy two? They didn't do a water boy two. Because those guys are grown ups now. Um, uh, okay, uh, Vanessa. Superman Superman versus Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just guessing. She no, was probably in that. She is in Batman v Superman or, yes. or Superman v Batman. Yeah. You really get a lot of leeway in this game. Uh, yeah, she really does. She does. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> 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 what do you mean, little old me? Because <laughs> there's more under the title than the, just the Batman v Su- Superman v Batman. Um, I guess Adam Sandler movie. But that's okay. I'm going to just say it. Donna Justice. Um, it's, not, it's him, anyway. Carlos? It's uh, Hotel Transylvania 3. Oh. Sorry. What? There's more words in the title. Oh, oh wait. damn. Wait. Right? Isn't that fucked? Oh, that's so fucked up. Gender ah. equality. I can't use, my, I can't use a lifeline? You can use a lifeline, yes. Okay, I'll use a lifeline so I can could, so I could save myself. Little Nikki. Oh, there you go. That's a good, good one. one. Yeah. That's a good one. My turn. Yeah. Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. <laughs> Mark? I can't think of the fucking name of it, but I know the director. Oh. Wes Anderson. <gasps> okay. What? I don't believe he's ever worked with him, but. That's not. Yeah, no. Oh, Ken Anderson. No. One no. of the Andersons. No, Wes Anderson has a I know this Adam one. Adam I know this one. Thinking, I know what you're thinking about. You're thinking P.T. Anderson. Oh. Paul Thomas. My friend. Oh, you're going to Lifeline. Uh, Punch Truck Love. That's what you're thinking about. That's the one. I love this. The lifelines are just naming the movie that the person almost <laughs> had. Yeah. is almost oh, grasping the title of. Different one. It's so sad. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're back to you, Vanessa. You don't have any more lifelines. Yeah, bro, I tap out. I don't know. But you're gonna tap. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with Big Daddy. I think you did pretty good. He's oh, going Big Daddy. Yeah, I go Big Daddy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People are excited. Wait, is the Butler one? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't throw in the towel and then jump back in and throw the towel back out. <laughs> I just dropped it. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to throw the towel into the ring, referee. <laughs> Look at those guys sitting over there. They don't even work here. Um, they don't work here. <laughs> They're just to, to dry run of their, t- their chef outfits for Halloween. <laughs> They're in my, in my favorite horror movie. <laughs> the chefs, <laughs> they're back. Uh, who's, where are we? You. You. Comedy, you. Comedy seller at the Rio you. is the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> you. Um, okay, so let's, uh, we might as well <laughs> go all the way back to the beginning. 
It's taken too long. Billy Madison. Uh, now you, yeah, bro. you, you said it, but no one, you didn't say it as an answer, so I can say it. Grown ups. Oh. Correct. Oh, of course. And Carlos. I'll go grown ups too. Yes. <laughs> you, wait, you mean he meant as well? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, go oh, with. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Oh fuck! I've never seen uh, this. What? You? I'm just trying to decide. Oh, I thought you were putting pick. his hand right there to try to throw him off. Mm-hmm. I just want to tell you, Mark, that uh, <laughs> I think your performance on the show today. <laughs> I think people are gonna be enchanted by it. Oh, uh, uh, Ella, uh, Ella. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this is a little movie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That was it was it was in 1987 mm-hmm. with Amy Adams. Okay. And it was called the Piccadilly Square Circus. Oh, go ahead. Great. I don't. I, wait. Can we call Carlos? bullshit? <laughs> can we call bullshit? <laughs> I don't know what yeah. Tell us a little bit more about it. Who else was in it? He did it way she, too. What is she? she wasn't what is born. She in it? You ever she lie to your mom yet, and you're there. like, I was. I went to bed really early. I didn't talk to anybody. I. <laughs> I can't believe I can't think of an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Carlos. Pixels. Mm-hmm. He's in pickle. Pixels. Pixels. <laughs> you said that. He's in, he's in pickle. pickle, pickle. <laughs> he's in the pickle, pickle movie. Pickle the movie. Uh, bedtime stories. Why are you saying more than one? Oh shit! I don't know because I don't. Uh, oh, I got, I'm back in. Bedtime stories two. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's my. You know, you and I are still competing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say bedtime stories. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, oh, oh, I just had it too. Oh, uh, Spanglish. Yeah. Yeah. Spanglish. Okay, I'm going to say mixed nuts. Oh. Is that a real one? I'm going to say the cobbler. Wow. Ooh, listen to us. Hey. Are you sober? (laughs) Uh, Amy Adams' first Academy Award nomination was for a movie called June Bug. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, oh, so we'll go Amy Adams I'm going to say Justice League Oh, uh, yeah. Vice Vice what, Wait, wh- okay <laughs> <laughs> Is it Sunshine Cleaning Company? Yes it is Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one <laughs> holy, holy shit <laughs> You're killing it uh, I'm going to say The Longest Yard Burt Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, was that was, Adam, I was like, hey, Amy Adam, the mashup fucks me up. I was like, she was in that? Um, all right, so we go back to Adam. Um, Adam Sandler had, uh, what else did he have? He had that, that. Oh, you said it earlier, but you were talking about the butler, Mr. Deeds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very good. Very good. Okay. Um, mm, I'm going to say... I'm going to do an Amy Adams, and it's called, oh, I can't, I'm not positive. I'm doubting myself on this. Doubt. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, I want to say The Hustle. Is with Christian Bale, her and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so you're out. I win. <laughs> what it's was it called, called American Hustle. American Hustle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a show. But Carlos is our winner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice show it, Carlos. But I wanted to get was... Doug. That's the fuck I wanted. You <laughs> did it. <laughs> Don, come and get all your prizes, uh-huh. dude. Right on, man. Oh. Okay, Napoleon right. Donomite. Uh, there you go, man. Yeah. Congratulations. You got all the stuff. You can take your name back, tag back, too, if you want. Got yeah. a black Do you want your J t-shirt. back? <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. That worked out perfect. Hell no. But, yeah. Well, thanks for trying, Rob, and thanks for uh, coming all the way from Des Moines. Yeah, I feel... And uh, other oh. Rob, great name tag. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mark Cohen, mm-hmm. what do you got to plug? Well, I'm here. Every night. Every night. Uh, Comedy Cellar at the Rio. It's on the, right. it's on the ground floor. <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> and new, I was new, on This Is Us. New acts. <laughs> look for a re- look for a rerun of that. New acts. Um, you know, here at this club every week. Every uh, week. Monday, Monday, Monday to Monday Sunday. To Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, two shows a night. Two and shows a, a night. As you guys Seven can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful club. The people. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Vanessa Johnston, what do you got to promote? Uh, I have a podcast called So Aggressive, and I have a comedy special coming out on Hulu this winter. Nice. And he'll be right on. Does he have a name? Yeah. Well, I was going to say Hillbilly Elegy in, <laughs> in March. No. Um, uh, what? The comedy special, have you named it yet? No. You waiting for it to be born? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel Transylvania Six. <laughs> Are you going to do a gender reveal party for your <laughs> for your special? <laughs> for your special? <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> well, thank you for being here, and Carlos Rodriguez. Hey. <laughs> fwa, fwa, fwa. Uh, fwa, fwa, fwa. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> no, you can do the other one. Uh, now the uh, uh, okay, Car- uh, at Carlos Comedy on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. And then after these two weeks that I'm here, I'll be at, uh, in Minnesota at the House of Comedy. And then after that, it's Rooster Teeth Feathers in the Bay Area. So you can catch me later. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Bay Arians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bay Area. That didn't come out right. <laughs> um, dum, dum. <laughs> White people from the Bay Area <laughs> or Bay Arians. But um, are you going to come see Doug Loves Scary Movies in uh, San Francisco on November 2nd? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, I talked him into it. <laughs> I mean, they came all the way to Vegas for this shit. Absolutely not. <laughs> they might as well go cl- somewhere a little closer. We're waiting for you to go to What Disney. are you watching on this the morning. number second? What? Well, do you, do you reveal what you're watching or you don't reveal it until then? What do you mean watching? On, on November 2nd. Isn't it just It's this? Doug Loves Movies. But scary oh, Scary version. Edition? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you read... I, I mean, this edition was pretty scary as well, <laughs> to be honest with you. But yeah, it's going to be, uh, you know, all scary movies uh, all the time in the... Uh, in the <laughs> What's wrong, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing it after Halloween? When, 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 when's your guys' show again? When's your guys' show? It's called Nobody Wants to Watch Us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we sold it. And we're over at the, we're over at the <laughs> we Sahara. Sold it. We sold it too. Yeah. We're at the Sahara. You did the Rat Pack at the Sahara for a while. At the Sahara, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the Sahara again. Yeah, we... Are you, we, Crazy, we yeah. <laughs> Is it? It's back? Yeah. Yeah. I, why didn't I know that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. go to that end of the strip. <laughs> I don't go to that shit end. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're downtown and you're on a zip line. <laughs> there's, there's a zip line here at the Rio, the beautiful Rio. They have a zip line right here. Right here on the fiftieth floor. I'm never going downtown again. I'm I've had so much fun heart. on this one. <laughs> Doug Loves Movies returns to Salt Lake City on Saturday, November 9th at 4.20. For all of my dates and deets, go to DougLovesMovies.com. That's DougLovesMovies.com! Yeah! Come on! We're not adding Bay Areans. (laughs) (laughs) What happened? What happened to... uh, what oh, happened to Ted Danson? I thought Ted Danson was going to be uh, <laughs> on the end of that for a little while. <laughs> Thank you to the Comedy Cellar and to all of my guests, Carlos Rodriguez, Vanessa Johnson, and Mark Coco Cohen, the Mattress King. <laughs> As always, positive energy. Bay Area. Eyes of gold is viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room in.